if it isn't the famous detective, the one that all the officers were warning me about. You must be very good if everyone is amazed by you. That coffee smells really good. Is that for me? No? But where's my drink? Why didn't you give me anything? Bad people don't get anything? <laughs> You're mean. But I'm not a bad person. Why am I here? I haven't done anything wrong. Detective, answer me this. Is it wrong to love someone? Exactly. We all have a right to love someone, to do anything for those that we love. If all that is okay, why am I in handcuffs? Trespassing, kidnapping, stalking? First of all, it's not stalking when a cute girl does it. It's called investigating and researching. And as for all those other things, you need to understand. Those aren't crimes. Those are acts of love. I didn't break into a stranger's house. I simply invited myself into my love's house. And as for kidnapping, he technically never left his house, so I don't see how I could be accused of such a crime. Of course I didn't let him leave. If I did, he would have gone to the police. And, well, you see how things turned out. No, I didn't let him go. He escaped. Well, it's a bit embarrassing to admit, but he tricked me. He had been such a good boy these past few days. He stopped arguing with me. He started to eat and enjoy my cooking. And he started saying all these nice things to me. So one day, when I came back from shopping, he said he wanted me to be his one and only. He wanted to show me how much he loved me. I was so surprised and so happy that I wasn't thinking straight. So he asked me to untie him so he could um, do, you know, um, the details aren't important. The point is, he asked me to untie him, and I did. Then he said he was embarrassed to um, undress in front of me, so he asked if he could go to the bathroom. I said yes. It wasn't until I heard the police sirens that I looked inside the bathroom and I realized he was gone. He had escaped through the window and called the police. You don't know how much that hurt me. For my love to just... betray me like that? That's why I didn't even try to escape. I just let the police arrest me and... I ended up here. Um... Is... Is he okay? Good. I'm so mad at him for betraying me like this. But... 
Part of me is happy to know he's okay. Why didn't I just ask him on a date? Are you crazy? You want me to just walk up to someone I don't know and try talking to them? Because... Because it's not that easy, you know? I... I thought about how to approach him. Like, maybe bump into him on the train he takes to work? Or getting a job at the coffee shop he always goes to? Or just sneak into his bedroom in the middle of the night and cuddle next to him? But... I was always afraid. Afraid that no matter how I approached him, he might say no, and and I never get to see him again. So I thought the best solution was to just not give him the option of saying no. Doesn't that sound wonderful? To approach the person you love knowing that they won't reject you. What do you mean that Rejection is not a bad thing. How can that even be a good thing? It's a learning experience. Detective, look at me. Don't you ever feel lonely, sad, angry for the situation you're in? Don't look at me with that surprised look. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You are the star detective, a decorated officer with so many awards and titles to your name. You've taken down so many criminals and have saved so many lives. Many people would love to be like you. But despite that, sometimes it feels like no one would love to be with you. Despite all that fame, you still go to the same empty apartment every night, eating dinner alone while watching TV, Then you go to sleep in a cold bed without someone warm to hold, to care for. I know that sometimes it keeps you up at night, that you wonder if all those things mean anything, if you have no one to share them with. How do I know so much about you? Would you believe me if I told you that I can see it in your eyes? Under that cold, serious expression, I can see a bit of jealousy in your eyes. That even though you are just doing your job, you wish that someone cared for you as much as this crazy girl cares about that guy. This might be a surprise, but... I think you should know, someone does care about you. What am I talking about? (laughs) Detective, you disappoint me. You were supposed to be the smart one. How was the coffee? Is it as tasty as you remember it? I imagine that sedative should be kicking in right about now. Hey, I wouldn't try getting up if I were you. You might... fall. (sighs) I'm sorry I had to do this, but this was the only way. It took so much time and money. Luckily, I had both. 
Don't worry, though. I'm not here to hurt you. Wave all you want at the window. They're not here to help you. They're here to help me. See, detective. My target was never that person. He's cute, but he's not who I was after. My target was you. It's always been you. See, I've been wanting you for a while now, but I just never knew how to get close to you. And the more I looked into your personal life, the more I felt that you were the one for me. But because you were such a high-ranking detective, I knew the case had to be big enough for you to be called. So I picked a person at random, followed them for a few days, and then had some fun with them. How did I pull this off? Well, it was actually much easier than you think. Nothing a few bribes here and there can't fix. Your partner was the most difficult one. At first, they would not accept a bribe and refused to help me. But after some convincing, they finally agreed. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'll make sure I treat you with all the love and care that you deserve. I'm not going to tie you up like I did the other guy. The other guy I tied down with some old chain I found lying around, but not you. I'll make sure to get you the nicest collar and leash I can find. I'll give you the best meals, buy you the best clothes, and give you all the hugs and kisses. I know you might be against it now, but trust me, with enough time you'll see just how much I love you. And eventually, I know you'll love me too. Of course, this means you can't be a detective anymore. It's too risky to have you out in public. But it's also a problem if people found out that you disappeared. I want to go somewhere where no one knows your name. Your co-workers have helpfully organized that for us. They'll be here to take us there. We'll start a new life together far away from here. You'll never have to worry about being alone again. Because I will never let you go. Where are we going? <laughs> where else, darling? Home, of course. Good night, sweetheart. See you in the morning.